Sunday lunch. It's all about getting people back around the table. And in a way, we've forgotten the importance of Sunday lunch. It's about the communication, the banter, the understanding, and more importantly, the fun. Right, I'm doing three antipasti dishes as a starter. First one up is a stuffed courgette. I'm fed up with seeing this poor little blighter in ratatouilles. This is better than just sticking it inside a ratatouille. Place it down, take off the ends. Now, this is a peeler. This is just a general all-round peeler. Hold the courgette down until it's really nice and firm on the board and get one end and just peel down. But look what happens as we slice down. These wonderful slices start coming off and they become almost like little tracing paper slices, nice and thin. The idea behind antipasti is just a, the perfect collection of little sort of starters. I don't like that word canapé because it sounds a little bit poncy, but just the perfect sort of way of kick-starting Sunday lunch. Now, we're going to marinate those courgettes. First of all, season the bottom of the tray with olive oil, nice and generous. And when you season a tray like this, before we put anything on, it stops you from having to turn things over. And if you keep on turning things over, they break. So season the tray first, place on top, and then season again. But just look how many strips we've got out of two courgettes. Olive oil over it. And that there, just to eat that on its own, is delicious. And the nice thing about keeping the vegetables raw is it can really identify the true flavour. Ricotta. Yeah, it's almost like a sort of rustic cream cheese. It's not as fine as a cream cheese. It's very robust. It's very sort of earthy and fresh. And it sort of crumbles. So we want to bring it together to cream it a little bit to make it nice and smooth. To help it along its way, I'm going to put some really nice sort of rich extra virgin olive oil in there. And that just sort of makes it nice and sort of dainty and delicate. It makes it taste a little bit grassy. Half a lemon. That just wakes up the cheese. And then some fresh basil. So find the largest leaf and stick all the little leaves inside the large leaf and then just roll it as if you're making the most amazing cigar. Put it together and then just slice through it. You never chop basil twice because that's what really bruises it. In to the ricotta. Now, paste that together. And already, the ricotta started to become really nice and smooth, almost like butter. Now for the pine nuts. Just into the pan. It's almost like a coffee bean. We're dry roasting it. The most important thing as you're roasting them is roll them round, because if they sit too long in the pan without being moved, they burn. But look what's happening to the pine nuts. The oil's starting to come out, so they look wet. And, you know, it's the same with walnuts, hazelnuts. You know, dry roast them. The flavour is extraordinary. Onto a plate and then just leave them to cool down. The flavour in there is lovely. Once the pine nuts have cooled down, in to the ricotta. And just that, on top of a really nice warm slice of, you know, toasted sourdough. You know, it has to be the perfect open sandwich. Now, courgettes. Look what's happened over the last couple of minutes. Look, they're beautiful. They've almost become sort of like little sheets of pasta. Now, the thin end towards you, and then place the mix half an inch from the bottom. Be generous with the ricotta because it is so delicious. Fill it up, make it look really sort of sexy and delicious. Get your knife, fold that over, and then look, just roll it up straight onto your plate. These can be done sort of half an hour, an hour before your family arrive for a Sunday lunch. And you can even do them right at the very last minute by having your cheese made the night before. Olive oil, just glaze the tops with a little bit of olive oil. And then, for me, the bit that brings it all together. We're just going to sort of douse a little bit of balsamic vinegar over. And look what happens. And it's almost like a little sort of dipping sauce. And then you have a very simple, very straightforward ricotta stuffed courgette rolls. Delicious. <laughs>